Good morning, everyone. My name is Grace Murray, and I am the Salesforce Administrator and Executive Assistant to the President. Wow. I am joining Ask JP today to actually ask JP some the questions, questions yeah. the burning questions. Um, so let's get started. Let's do it, Grace. So first question is, what do you think is going to permanently change in associations? Uh, moving forward yeah, for after sure. this post-COVID. For sure. I think uh, associations are really going to be evaluating some of their legacy programs and whether they're worth doing or not. Or making sure that they're strategically important to the organization to continue to do them. give you an example. I spoke with a, an association CEO the other day that said, hey, you know what, we started looking at our meetings portfolio and about half of our meetings don't make any money. And we got to really evaluate before, before the pandemic. We really need to evaluate where, whether we need to continue to do those. Do they keep moving our mission forward? If so, yeah. If not, we got to really kind of reevaluate re -evaluate the business model if it's a sustainable thing moving forward. So yeah, the, it's forcing, now this situation has forced associations to actually look at maybe what they were doing before wasn't as profitable. Yeah, or you were just doing it because you've been doing it for 20 years, right. right? Is that the reason to keep doing it for the next 20 months? I think a lot of those things are getting evaluated right now. Interesting. Okay, you. next question is, what type of people will yeah. associations need to have on their teams moving forward? Totally, yeah, this is a big change that's going on. We all know, and they're very good folks, maybe folks that have been in the association for a very long time that don't have the ability to adapt in the speed that we need now in the world that we're in. I remember a story from 1987, Grace, when the University of Oklahoma was still running the wishbone. There was a team called the Miami Hurricanes that could basically disrupt the wishbone by having faster athletes on the defensive side of the ball than the offensive side of the ball. That is what has happened with the pandemic. We're running the wishbone and the world is now running the Miami defense. The groups that can be faster, it's going to be speed and it's going to be frequency. And the people that can act and perform in that environment are the folks that we need for our associations moving ahead. And last question that the people want to know is what will change in the relationship between the member and the association? Oh, there's definitely a change there. And I think it's actually, this is some of the upside of this, of what's happened. Um, a lot of associations members were kind of, especially I'm talking at the board level, at the leadership level, frankly were in the association business way too much. They weren't allowing the association staff to really take the reins and execute and perform. I mean, after all, they hired the staff to do that, but then they got in the middle of it. If there's one thing that's happened. I think that the association volunteer leaders, the board members, the company members that are participating in the association are now going to say, whoa, hold on. We don't know how to we don't know this association stuff and you guys need to do it and because first of all i got to run my own business i don't have time to think about my volunteer business right so i think that's going to be good if the association adapts some of the things that we talked about in the earlier questions faster evaluating their business model does it still work or not that's going to be that's changed and i think that's actually a positive Awesome content. Nice job today, Grace. Your Monday. Thanks for having me. You bet. And uh, talk soon. Talk soon. Bye bye. Bye.